Hey there, friends. How's it going? Uh, today I have a very special recruitment manipulation for you, um, and it is absolutely uh, the hardest uh, one so far to route out. Um, and that is recruiting all three Reggies from Buried Relic in a single uh, run of the dungeon with an Alakazam. Uh, this took me quite a while to uh, set up and figure out, but uh, this evening I uh, finished routing everything out and it's ready. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, as always, let's go through our um, items. Uh, so we have the music box. This is just to ensure that we can actually recruit the Reggies. Uh, typically, if you don't have the music box um, or the individual parts for each of them, uh, they'll simply uh, be defeated and drop the item. You won't be able to recruit them. Uh, so in this uh, regard, the music box is essential. And of course, we have an escape orb. Uh, so that way, once we recruit the uh, Registeel, we don't need to go through the rest of the dungeon. We can just escape orb out on the uh, 36th floor, I believe. Uh, looking at Alakazam, of course we have our friend bow equipped. This is, uh, you absolutely need this. If you don't have the friend bow equipped, I believe the uh, chances of recruiting uh, the Reggies are about 0.1%, uh, uh, especially since we don't have any recruitment uh, point bonuses from our uh, level. So the friend bow is absolutely essential. And always, we have our moveset of Teleport and Frustration linked together three times. So as I just uh, said a bit earlier, this is uh, definitely the hardest recruitment manipulation uh, that I have ever round routed out, and that is for a variety of reasons, which I shall explain once we get into the dungeon. So for Buried Relic, we have to quick save before we can even enter the dungeon, uh, but this doesn't affect anything. We still have to find the stairs, like so and uh, quick save here as well. And that will, uh, as always, uh, establish the floor layout for the rest of the dungeon. We will be quick saving again um, in our Reggie Ice fight. Or Reg Ice, rather. Um, and that is to uh, manipulate the rest of the dungeon so we can actually get Registeel. Part of the reason this took so long is just being able to uh, find a manipulation that actually uh, allows us to recruit the darn things, since they're so difficult to recruit in the first place. Even with, uh, you know, being able to route everything out and manipulate it using, like, save states, it still took quite a while. So for the first part of the dungeon, uh, until we get to our uh, Reggie Rock, everything is perfectly normal. Uh, we're just going through uh, the dungeon like a normal uh, manipulated uh, run that you would see on here. Fairly straightforward, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Just teleporting around, uh, knowing the floor layouts. This is something very interesting right here. So I managed to uh, move in a certain way to manipulate this Raticate to not only throw the warp seat at us, but to have it take us right next to the stairs. I was very happy with myself when I found that when I was initially routing the dungeon. So yeah, this should take about 15 minutes, I would say, um, which uh, honestly, I, I would say is a very good time for recruiting three of some of the most difficult Pokemon to recruit in the entire game. Um, so I would say it's a very good bargain. <laughs> but with that in mind, uh, there's a lot of things you need to account for that you wouldn't need to in another manipulation, uh, because we're, we're carrying along uh, all these Pokemon with us. We're not letting them go individually because we can't do that. That wasn't introduced until Sky. We need to bring uh, Regirock, Regice, and uh, into the Registeel fight. So in order to do that, we need to uh, do some special movement um, and change some settings we normally wouldn't, uh, particularly tactics and IQ, which I will demonstrate in just a second. And of course, as always, uh, Alakazam is capable of taking all these hits, despite only being level uh, 16, which is quite remarkable. So we don't need to worry about uh, taking too much damage until the later floors, that is. With that in mind, however, the Reggies can still absolutely destroy us, so if you do not stick to the manipulation, uh, it is quite likely that you will not only die, uh, but you won't be able to recruit them. And that's why we're here. So here's the Regirock fight. Uh, this is very straightforward. We don't need to do anything fancy for this, uh, just some simple movements. We just go left, running left of course, and then we spam Frustration, and he's ours. <laughs> Luckily for us, he only uses Curse, so uh, 
as, uh, because we moved in this way and we quick saved on the first floor, which makes this incredibly easy. And which is, uh, what's even better is by doing this, we get to recruit him as well. So that's Reggie Rock on our team. Now, like I was saying about IQs, we need to uh, do some very specific things here with this Reggie Rock. So first, we're going to go into its tactics and make sure it is set to uh, let's go together. We will change that the next floor. Um, and then it's IQ, we are setting dedicated traveler and exclusive move user. And then we are turning off all of its moves. This is just to ensure consistency and to make sure it doesn't uh, get off track while we're trying to get through the uh, rest of the dungeon. All right, so as I said, we're going down and we are changing Regirock's tactic to wait here. This simply makes it easier for us to go through the rest of the dungeon. Um, and changing tactics uh, also manipulates this Geodude to not use rollout. If that Geodude uses rollout, it will kill us in about two hits. A fun perk of uh, quick save manipulation and knowing all the floor layouts is knowing where all the traps are. Because as you just saw, I walked into a pitfall trap in order to get to the uh, next floor a bit faster. So as you can see, it's very quick uh, with Regirock just standing there, and since we know the floor layouts, we know whether or not he's going to be attacked or not. So we can just keep going at the pace we're going. And we're getting pretty close to the Regice fight. Uh, that we're, we are going to need to change tactics again before that, uh, but that will be on the uh, 24th floor. And believe it or not, we're actually fighting things in this dungeon, uh, which we typically don't do. We typically just, uh, you know, avoid things at all costs. But this is much less about speed and much more about uh, being able to recruit all three of them in one uh, play through the dungeon. So here it's very, very important uh, that we switch Regirock's tactics. Uh, back from wait here to let's go together. If you don't do this, not only will uh, Regis not do what um, the manipulation says it will, uh, but we won't be able to recruit it. So for Regis, we're going down right, left, and then we're using frustration three times. Again, it uses curse, which is incredibly convenient for us because it slows itself down. And it misses Icy Wind, which is even more perfect. So this is something we have never done before. Um, quick saving, as we know, uh, sets the floor layouts for the rest of the dungeon. Um, however, something not too many people are aware of is quick saving on a floor uh, can also be used to manipulate what occurs on the floor. So we are quick saving right here, um, so that way our next frustration link will uh, defeat it and recruit it. If we did not quick save right there, uh, this attack would not recruit Reg Ice, and we would need to start all over. So there's Reg Ice. We're also going to level up, uh, but since uh, we are under level 29, this will not be a problem. So we just recruited Reg Ice, so we need to turn off its moves as well. And of course, uh, check its IQ. And set its tactics to uh, wait here. Along with Regirock, we also need to change uh, Regirock's uh, tactics back to wait here. So now uh, we're basically bringing along a couple of statues with us, uh, but it's perfectly fine since the, the remaining floors are fairly straightforward. Again, we are uh, taking out this uh, Hypno to make sure it doesn't uh, mess with our statues here, which would be quite unfortunate, I must say. Here it's kind of an inconvenience. Uh, we need to attack. Uh, but in order to uh, attack without talking to the Reggies, we need to look away before we do that, but... Again, this isn't about speed, this is about uh, getting this done. Again, here we're being as uh, cautious as possible. Not only to protect the Reggies, but since these Hitman Tops uh, can kill us with arm... Uh, or not arm thrust. Uh, I, I don't remember the move, but they can uh, defeat us quite easily, so it's important that we take care of them. So 
so now we're at the 30th floor, we're getting incredibly close, friends. Uh, the last couple of floors are actually very straightforward. Um, there's not too much to them. On the 34th floor, we will need to set some more tactics, um, and that is for the final fight with Registeel. But until then, uh, I think we're on the home stretch here. Alright, so this floor, uh, first we're gonna need to get some of these uh, enemies out of the way. Um, we're gonna do that by going down right, using frustration. And, and both of them will want to join our team, but unfortunately we will have to say no to both of them. Alright, so here's where things get interesting. Uh, so we're gonna actually change uh, Regice's uh, tactics uh, again. So let's go together, and we're going to turn on the move Icy Wind. This is going to slow down Registeel in the fight, uh, which not only makes him easier to defeat, uh, but easier to recruit. And by the same token, we're going to change Regirock's uh, tactics to get away, so he doesn't uh, get in the way of the Registeel fight. This is the uh, hardest part of the manipulation, I would say, to figure out. And this has taken me weeks, <laughs> believe it or not. Alright, so for starters, we are going to attack, and then we're going to use Frustration. After this, Regice will use Icy Wind, as so, and slow him down. Now now that Regice has uh, slowed uh, Regiseal down, we are going to actually uh, switch Regice's tactics back to get away, so that way he gets out of the way of the fight, and uh, lets us have a clean opportunity to recruit Registeel. So from here, we're going to use Frustration twice. By twice, I mean the chain linked together twice, which we can do now because he's slowed down. So here is um, a very important part. We're going to attack, use our basic attack three times on Registeel. And this is because if we use Frustration uh, times three on that turn, it will, will not recruit him. So from here, we're gonna walk down, look up, and use our Frustration. And just like that, friends, we have recruited all three Reggies in a single playthrough of Buried Relic. Which is not only incredibly frustrating to do, but is incredibly time consuming as well. So don't use your escape warp on this floor, uh, it will not work. Make sure you use the warp zone right here, and then uh, use the escape warp here. And that is that, we have done the impossible, friends. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Also, you feel free more, you're feel you more than welcome to join my Discord channel. Um, and since this manipulation is incredibly difficult, uh, I will be including a, a link to my uh, dungeon notes as well. So you will have uh, an opportunity to read off those and uh, hopefully have a better time uh, figuring this out. But yes, friends, I hope this helps, and I, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.